Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day or night. Today I'm going to be going over how to create 3D floating objects within your music videos. I'm going to be creating floating lean cups within one of Yeet's music videos. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So as you guys can see, I have this clip from Yeet's music video. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is click on our scene and go to the tracker tab. If you guys don't see that, we can go to window and make sure your tracker is toggled. I'm going to go ahead and click track camera and it's going to analyze the background and give us some track points to work with. Now that's completely tracked, we're gonna look for a spot that kind of lines up with our clip. So back here, the target's lined up with the wall, so this is a good spot. I'm gonna right click and create Nolan camera. After I've done that, I'm gonna go to new and create a solid, hit okay. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Element 3D. If you guys don't already have Element 3D, I highly suggest getting into it. It's a really good way to introduce yourself into 3D modeling and adding 3D to your videos. We're just gonna grab Video Copilot's Element and drag that onto our dark gray solid. Now we're gonna go ahead into our scene setup. And as you can see, we have a 3D space here. We're gonna import, go to wherever you saved your lean cup, and we're gonna go ahead and open that up. Make sure you use auto normals, hit okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and click normalize size maybe scale it down a little bit and that looks good. So I'm gonna hit okay. And it is 3D tracked to kind of follow the camera. Now I want a bunch of lean cups in the background. So I'm gonna go to group one and the particle replicator. I'm gonna set the particle count to 10. I'm gonna go ahead to the replicator effects and the scatter and drag up the scatter. And this is gonna spread out our cups. Now obviously I want them in the background. So I'm gonna go to the position Z and increase that. So they are further back. I'm gonna increase the scatter some more. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to do the X scatter, do the X scatter and set it to 150. So now they are all spread out throughout the scene. And I actually might drag them to the left because obviously our camera pans to the left. So we can go to the position X, Y and drag them a little bit to the left. If you guys don't like how they are spread out, you can go ahead to the random seed and it will give you a completely different look just by changing the random seed. Once you guys get a random seed that you like, we're going to go ahead and add some rotation so the cups are rotating. going to go to the particle look and then we're going to go to the particle rotation. As you can see, there's this rotation RAND value, and this is what we want to keyframe. But as you can see, if I change this value, our cups will start to kind of rotate in different directions, and that's exactly what we want. I'm actually going to start this at around negative 21. I'm going to keyframe it on the first frame, then go to the end of the clip and just kind of mess around with that value to make them rotate. Now, if I play that back, you can see that our cups will slowly rotate. And if you guys don't like how they're rotating, again, you can go to the random seed and just kind of switch up which way they rotate. But obviously we want these cups in the background and right now they're just kind of in front of Yeet. So what we actually wanna do is rotoscope out our subject. We're gonna to go to the bottom layer and duplicate our background layer. Now double click on this. Make sure on this duplicated layer you delete the 3D camera tracker so it doesn't get in the way. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rotobrush tool and rotobrush out our subject. Now I'm just gonna scrub through, making sure every frame is good. And once we get to the last frame, we're gonna go ahead and freeze our rotobrush in place. Now we can close out of the layer and we're gonna drag this rotobrush layer on top of our background. Now we can see that the cups are now behind our subject. Now we want some cups in the foreground, so I'm going to duplicate our cup layer and drag this on top of our subject. I'm gonna decrease the position Z to make the cups really close up to the camera. You can go ahead and adjust the X, Y position. Now we have all these cups in the background and this one in the foreground. To add a little bit of extra sauce, I'm gonna grab a camera lens blur. I'm gonna drag that onto our front layer of this cup right here. Increase that to 15. I'm gonna go ahead and add a camera lens blur to the back layer as well, but make this one about three. Cups to float up and we can do that pretty easily. If we go to this back layer, we're gonna go ahead to the position X, Y and keyframe that at the very beginning. And we're gonna make the cups go down a little bit. Now if we go to the end and we just change this value so that they're higher up and we play it back, you can see now that the cups in the background are now floating up and that looks really cool. For some finishing touches, I went ahead and added a radial blur to the background layer to kind of make it more of a yeet type edit. And all I did was make the center key framed to where yeet is and just increase and decrease the amplitude. One final thing we can do is go ahead and drag some glow onto our background layer. I'm just gonna set the glow color to purple decrease the threshold a tiny bit and increase the brightness. And that glow just really ties up this whole scene together. That's it guys, later.